So Nvidia is preparing an RTX 3070 Ti graphics card for launch in May, but it could be closer to Computex as we've previously reported. And according to video cards, it will have two variants, an 8GB GDDR6X and one at 16GB of GDDR6X. Now the news has been further validated by Unico Hardware, which confirmed not only the chip specifications, but the memory variants as well. We also now know that the memory will be clocked at 19 gigabits per second. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti will be based on the GA104-400 GPU and will have 6,144 CUDA cores divided into 48 GPU clusters. This means it has exactly two more clusters than the non-TI variant and 20 less than the RTX 3080. Now it will feature 48 RT cores, for comparison, the RTX 3080 has 68, which is also two more than the 3070 and 20 less than the RTX 3080. Now the ROPs will be at 96 for this segment of the NVIDIA lineup and the clock speeds have yet to be confirmed and it will feature 256 bit memory bus with 8 or 16 gigabytes of G6X memory clocked at 19 gigabits per second. It's currently scheduled for release in May of 2021 alongside the RTX 3080 Ti but this could change considering the volatile supply situation and you can use the memory IDs given to trace the full specifications for the memory use. Interestingly, the RTX 3070 Ti is positioned as something of a replacement for the RTX 3070 because it's really not going to be that much more powerful compared to its namesake. Now with just a difference of two GPU clusters, there's only so much performance to be gained. Now the RTX 3080 Ti on the other hand rocks a massive difference when compared to its namesake. Now the RTX 3080 Ti has 12 more GPU clusters compared to the RTX 3080 for a total of 10,240 cores, two less than the RTX 3090, has 80 RT cores and 112 ROPs and coupled with 12 gigabytes of G6 VRAM on a larger 384 bit bus totaling 912 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And it's clearly a monster of a card just from the specifications alone and it appears to be slightly less powerful replacement for the RTX 3090 and the true flagship of the Ampere lineup. Now it's also currently scheduled for launch in May of 2021 in another world where cryptocurrencies did not exist. I would have been very much excited for this launch, but it's, well, feels like we're talking about another card that will likely never end up in gamers' hands in a reasonable time frame and will spend many of its digital cycles toiling away in a cryptocurrency mine somewhere. The supply and demand situation is very unlikely to improve within a month and the global chip and NAND shortage is likely that this card will be, well, somewhere well beyond whatever the MSRP gets set anyway. Now, gamers can still hope to get their hands on one by signing up for AIB's waiting list and, well, staying put for a couple of months. But as it stands, the 3070 Ti may not be that big of an upgrade over the existing 3070 unless you're wanting to get your hands on that sweet, sweet 16 gigabytes of VRAM. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.